Islam Dwayne Baka Bay. Um, Islam. It is uh, March 26, 2019. Um, today was an okay day. Um, I'm going to start off by giving testimony um, for like last night I had a dream. This was, or it was around this morning. I'm at Whole Foods, by the way. I'm at Whole Foods in Annapolis, Maryland. Um, I am a Hebrew Muslim. I'm Rhonda Arrington Hyphen Bay, and um, my nationality is Moorish American. And so last night, I had a dream as I was sleeping. It was a forced, manipulated dream. And uh, it was these black Negro uh, male and female were in a dream. And they were actually having sex. And the dream lasted for maybe three seconds. Because I think I, it was like I was actually um, following someone in the dream or following a tunnel or just looking around in the dream and unconsciously. And then all of a sudden there was a black female, a Negro female, having sex with a black um, male. And, it, and before I could see what was going on, I or really knew what was going on, I, I said one, two, Three seconds, I caught on. Maybe it's um, maybe the second, and I opened my eyes. And when I opened my eyes, this is an American extended stay. I heard someone outside the room make a noise, like hum, like something like that. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's one testimony. Um, another thing I want to tell you about is um, I got a phone call from um, a bass. And so this, once again, this is not the first time that um, my dreams been manipulated. You know, Abbas Malik Bey, my son, um, when he came to visit, he was spiritually attacked. And a lot of times when he was spiritually attacked, um, mentally, I would see people walking around with hospital, uniform, uh, uh, hospital uniforms around American Extended Stay. And this is in Annapolis, Maryland. And this is, uh, it was uh, not people, a person, a male. And um, he was being attacked spiritually. And then I would hear sometimes outside and around the room, someone say brother. Um, I've heard them say military, the police, that sort of thing, and Edgewater. Uh, so these are, and also pain, that sort of thing. Uh, so he was in pain. His joints would be tightening up. And um, he's only 19 years old. He, so he definitely has the science that caused people to be telepathic. Um, his, so his muscles would be tightening up. And so um, it was like a threatening action happening for him to be uh, abused. And then someone say, brother. So there was, it was like they were using my son, Abbas Malik Bey, to cause harm to because even when I was out, someone would say your son, like threatening or spirits would start saying your son. These are unclean spirits. Start saying your son as though they were threatening to cause harm to my son, Abbas Malik Bay. Because I would leave him at the room while I went to work. And Imani had to go to work as well. So he would be at the room by himself. And it's no telling what he experienced while he was there. It's just like there's no telling what he experienced before he came. And um, so they would say your son or whatever, as, especially if a Negro blackie or this is an unclean spirit or that which is Spanish or some or even else, whatever, who, whatever, mainly the Negro black uh, would try to uh, communicate. This is an unclean spirit. Now, all of them are unclean. I'm, sp I'm specifically speaking that which is un about that's unclean in spirit. So um, w if they try to engage and their engagement was not accepted, not all those that speak Spanish, um, Mexico, are unclean. These are specifically the unclean spirits, not all that which is pale skin. So um, so they would either, after they one of them would try to engage, they'll start saying, your son. And I didn't know, um, I could only imagine what a Bas Malik Bay was experiencing because when we went back to the room, he, they, it's, they would start saying, your son or, um, or brother, like, so this is definitely like they were threatening to do something to him. And, I, and you saw the videos of his um, muscles tightening up. He was in pain. He was in pain and he was trying to control the pain, but he could not control the pain. And he's only 19 years old. He just turned 20, March the 20th. So, um, and um, so, this is, um, so this is a very, this is a breeding tactic, a breeding tactic. Um, 
for to breed these unclean spirits with soulful mores. Uh, so if they, they'll um, threaten to do um, harm to your child or someone you love, your family, because they're trying to breed these unclean, filthy, disgraceful spirits in our line. All right, and and it's not for good because if it was for good, they wouldn't they wouldn't have to do it forcefully. They're doing it because they know there's a change happening, and this change that's happening involves freedom, enlightenment. This these unclean, filthy spirits will not be able to exist in that in that high frequency. All right, they cannot exist. They cannot raise their frequency. They will be. They will have to change. At least, I mean, I'm thinking of Allah. Now, Allah cannot be circumscribed. So they will have to change into a different form. And you, energy cannot be um, killed, but energy can be recycled into something else. Um, so, what else did I realize? Um, um, still, the uh, that would speak Spanish. Um, is still trying to um, definitely engage. And I told you, I, I don't know anyone that speaks Spanish. A person never in my life have a money grade hyphen bay or I imply we wanted to get to know someone that speaks Spanish. Um, and even when we were younger, where we lived, we lived in a high middle class or middle class area. We rarely saw any Mexicans or Spanish people over there. And not until we were older, when more people from the north started to migrate to the south. That's when we started to see, but usually it was either you were considered, um, you it was um, some people from India, um, other places from out of the country, um, very few, uh, but then there was the pale skin, and then there was that which was under the status of Negro, Black, or African American. So growing up, I never even, um, never even had to deal with them on a personal level, but listening to the news speak about them, and how they were illegal aliens, I, I've grown to, I grew to have compassion for them, kind of understand why they were considered illegal aliens. But I, I see now that is um, everything is not what it seems to be. Okay, because we, um, what is presented on the fiscal plane is not what truly is. Okay, so um, you know we don't watch live news, we don't watch the TV anymore. That, this was years ago when I was growing up, and um, now I'm in true reality of what we are among. Okay, true reality of what we are among. If in um, how important it is that um, whatever is controlling them is trying to breed. Well, um, so today was a good day, Dwayne Buffett. Was at um, Burger King, um, earning money. Um, I did feel pains um, constantly, though. Constantly, I felt pains that I never felt before. And I'm pretty much in shape, you know, I exercise. Um, not meditating like I want to, but you know, we meditate, we stretch, uh, we eat well. Uh, so I was surprised. Now I know that um, we are among a, tele a science, a telepathic community and those that we are among um, can send, tele um, send sharp pains to our head. And this is where I um, felt um, pains to the chest, to the genitals. And a lot of times these unclean spirits when these are unclean, when they're not able to engage or amalgamate, just like my son Abbas Malik Gray, they were saying brother, they will start screaming racist. Some of them imply to be connected to the military, um, the United States Navy, the Army, but anyway, they'll start yelling racist. And like, like racist of what, okay? If a person do not want to amalgamate with you, don't want to have sex with you, if a soul don't want to have sex with you, why, did, why is that racist? So this is another breeding tactic, once again. But I did, um, I can't say the customers were, get, were sending sharp pains or, and actually a few times, like one time this guy came in the Burger King, and this, cause this is a spiritual moment, and I thought this was odd. He had on a Navy, uh, a shirt with a Navy emblem. And I asked him, I said, are you in the Navy? He said, yes, this is today. Um, and he started doing like this. Um, before I asked him, he was standing there and he was just rubbing his um, his uh, thing, his hand constantly, slowly. And I was waiting for him to walk up to the um, register so I could take his order. And when he walked up to the register, uh, before he walked up to the register, um, I and this is I'm not saying he did this, but this is what I experienced. I felt my genitals be attacked in a sexual manner. But when he walked up to the uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Then when he walked up to the register, and this is not the first time, once again, I started realizing my genitals were being attacked in a sexual manner 
when I first started working at Burger King, I, I now realize this, but when I look back in 2016, I realized that my genitals were being attacked um, in a sexual manner then as well when I start working there but and I because I never experienced that that form of um, spiritual attack before until um, I came to Annapolis so this was totally new for uh, me to un as a soulful Moorish American um, so once again this is a breeding tactic uh, of to um, encourage amalgamation of unclean spirits so as this male walked towards me he was brown skinned I don't know where he was from but he was definitely brown skinned um, he didn't. He didn't. He would. He had like black hair. I wouldn't say. Um, I don't know. He could have been uh, Spanish or uh, Asian looking. But he had a shirt that said Navy up there. So after I felt the, my, the sensation of my genitals being attacked, I'm not saying he did this. There are people walking. And I'm not saying customers are doing this at all at Burger King. I'm just giving you testimony of what I experienced. So as um, he walked to the register, because there's people walking around Burger King outside Burger King all the time. Um, and I told you most of the people that come into Burger King are the Navy, those that imply that are, are connected to the Navy, the Army, and um, other military um, branches. The Black, the, those that are on the status of the Black Negro, so many of them come in. I was, is, um, that we, that I would hear just R&B music. Um, the, the Spanish, most, large, them, large amount of them seem to be from Mexico. I can't say all from Mexico. And then um, the pale skin. So um, the pale skin is uh, from this landmass. They don't have an accent. They, they are from, um, usually um, from this landmass. They're not from Europe, from this landmass. Okay, so I'm saying those that would call themselves white American. But we know that's not a, there's no such thing as a white American according to constitutional law. So, um, anyway, um, so as he walked up to the register, okay, the um, sensation stopped. But that doesn't mean he did this. I'm just giving you testimony. Then he, um, I asked him, I, think, I said, are you from, because I saw that it said Navy up there. So are you from the, um, are you in the Navy? He said, yes, he is. I said, oh, okay. And I was asking him, I said, how do they know that you, um, those that apply to be in the Navy, in the military, um, that are mentally sane, or how do they do a mental, um, how, what, what qualifies you to be a Navy officer? He said, there's an app test. Oh, I said, there's an app test. I, I said, okay. And, I, and he, he was explaining to me, it was the outside. That's interesting. No, I didn't know that. But this, was, this is very interesting, the way basketball day. So that's pretty much how that conversation went. Yesterday, um, the same uh, black male that comes into Burger King more than a few times um, came in. He was driving um, a bus that said Naval Academy. Um, on it, and then um, some other, um, I, he um, too came into um, Burger King. And I felt the same sensation. Um, he was he definitely a black male. He would usually wear shades and he was driving this bus that said Naval Academy. I told you now I'm saying he did it, but um, while he was at the reg at the um, front desk, I experienced these things. Um, my genitals were being attacked in a sexual manner. And um, now I told you I was told that there is a Naval Academy or universe or university behind Burger King, I was told. So to now when I see these officers or these people that apply to be connected to the Navy, I'm not surprised, but before I was, now I just recently was told this maybe four or five months ago. So I, otherwise, I didn't know why um, they would come in and some of them behave odd. So I didn't understand why, but now I see. Um, let's see, um, that's it. Um, oh, another thing I was, so that, that is definitely my, um, that's how my day went today. Um, it was pretty good. I did my, ba the basics, um, of clean, cleaning. I wiped down the shake mix, um, uh, of the, uh, at Burger King. Um, you know, I'm still doing, we're still doing a vegetarian, vegan diet. Um, I told you, um, it's been, um, about over a year and a half since I've eaten at Burger King. Um, because um, since we change our lifestyle, um, it doesn't correlate to the chemistry of my body. The last time I ate something there was a Twix pie. And that Twix pie, and I had already started wing, winning, winging myself towards this diet. 
Uh, anyway, when I started eating it, it was tasting so good. It was great. I love. I thought it was great. And I said, this is the best twist. This is the best pie I had in a while. But I got so sick. Well, probably five minutes after, I had to sit down uh, for a minute because I was about to throw up. I was. I was literally about to vomit all over the place. So I know I have to be careful. So it's been over a year and a half since I've eaten any food at Burger King, and I don't drink coffee or um, or. Um, orange juice I take I really um, try to be careful what I eat so that um, I keep my health um, balanced so I don't get sick it's not just the Burger King anywhere so um, that's pretty much it um, so um, I, and I'm gonna end the, in in that with that so that 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 was my spirit spiritually and once again um, uh, one, and even with the sharp pains to Wayne Bath Bay, the first time I documented feeling a sharp pain, I never forget the lady, she was a pale skin, she usually would drive a, um, a black SUV with two um, American flags on both sides. And this is in the year 2016. I started working at Burger King in 2016, in June. And she, she would go, come to Burger King and sit there for hours or a, a while with the other regular members. Some of them um, uh, have said they didn't want me to touch their hand and that, that sort of thing. And she had the license plate Navy One on the back of her um, black SUV. The first time I um, really recognized I was feeling a sharp pain was one time she walked up to the, uh, the counter and the counter, uh, and as she walked up to the counter, she moved a certain way, but when she moved a certain way, I felt a sharp pain. And I, it wasn't that, she, I can't, I'm not accusing her, but I'm just giving you a sharp pain. And I, um, I think it was in my arm or, or my head or somewhere. And I heard, and simultaneously, out of the blue, she just said, she paid y'all, she paid y'all. And I, I thought that was so odd because this was like maybe um, at the end of 2016 of Annapolis. And I, all I could do was document it. I was like, and I, I think I emailed it to you, Dwayne, because I was so surprised. I didn't understand what I was experiencing. But um, I'm not saying once again that she did this because I don't know who's, who, who is doing this. But I know we are among an, a telepathic society. So, um, and they, and those that have this science and abuse this science, they send sharp pains. Because um, and whatever they can do to try to force soulful mores to breed, okay, or breed with unclean spirits, um, and one of the major words they use is racist. So if an unclean spirit cannot breed or try to inhabit your mind, possess your body, then they start yelling racist, like like that is some um, justification of why they are unclean and filthy. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, go. I'll talk to you later. I have to get ready to go and try to uh, fix dinner for Imani. It's long.